Welcome back boys and girls. So today we are going to be working on a landscape and we did one earlier this year where we showed a foreground, middle ground, and background. This one's going to be a little different. Today we're going to talk about one point perspective and a vanishing point. So what does perspective mean? Well in art, perspective creates the illusion of space and depth on a flat surface. So it makes things look three-dimensional and super realistic. And a vanishing point is usually a one point where things seem like they're vanishing or they're disappearing. So that's what we're going to do today. So we are going to begin. I'm going to be working on a dry erase board. You're going to be working on a piece of paper. Remember, draw light until you get it right. And I am going to begin by figuring out where the middle of my paper is. And I'm going to put my finger right in the middle. And then I'm going to work my way down just a little bit and make a little dot. So that's where my horizon line is going to be. Remember, the horizon line is what separates the sky from the land or the sky from the ocean. So I'm going to do one straight line across my board, and that is going to be my horizon line. Now, like we've spoken about in the past, things that are closer to us are bigger, and as things get further away, they get smaller. So we're going to work on a road that's going to lead up to our one point perspective, our vanishing point. So I'm going to find the middle of this line, which is right about here, and I'm going to create a triangle. So I'm going to go from the middle of that line all the way to the corner of my board, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. This is going to be our road. That is our vanishing point. Now I'm going to create the lines those yellow lines that separate the sides of the road. Okay, and now I'm going to create two sidewalks on either side of the street. Again, as things get closer to you, they get larger and they're at the bottom of the paper. So foreground remembers at the bottom of the paper and it is bigger. So I'm gonna create a sidewalk and I'm going to start at that one point and I'm gonna work my way and get just a little bit wider when I get to the bottom of the paper. So you can see how it goes from a much more narrow sidewalk and it gets a little bit wider as it gets closer to me or closer to the bottom of the paper. Remember, things get bigger as they are closer to us. Okay, so we have our street and now we're gonna create some trees. I'm gonna create two really large trees on the side because I want those two trees to look like they are the closest to me. So they are going to begin at the bottom of the paper and they're gonna be the largest thing on our paper. And I'm gonna even make it look like it's coming off the edge of the paper. So I'm gonna start my tree here and I'm gonna work my way up all the way to the top and I will erase this line so that I make sure that I am doing my overlapping correctly. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. You can do different types of trees. You can do the same trees. I'm gonna do the same ones just to keep it simple for this lesson. Okay, so I have my two foreground trees and now I'm going to do middle ground trees. So we've talked about that. Middle ground is towards the middle of the paper and it's medium size. So I'm gonna do the same type of tree and I'm gonna do it just a little bit smaller than the one I just did. So this is more like a medium sized tree. I'm gonna do another one here and I can even do some overlapping here. And we don't really see these type of trees so much in Miami. I should probably be doing palm trees, but hey, why not do some pine trees instead? Okay, so I have my foreground trees, I have my two middle ground trees, and now I'm gonna do some background trees. My background trees are definitely gonna be smaller because they are farther away. And again, I'm gonna do the same type of tree. One here, one here, and erase the line going through the tree trunk. So now I have my vanishing point. Everything is going to this one point. I have my foreground, middle ground, and background tree. And now we can think about what we wanna do in the very, very background and in the sky. So I'm gonna make it look like there's mountains since obviously this is not Miami. Why not make some really beautiful mountains? I love the mountains. Okay, and maybe some clouds, making it look like they're behind the mountains. 
And you can either make this look like it's nighttime or daytime by either drawing a moon or a sun. I'm just gonna do a big half circle. So we don't know if it's the moon or the sun. And that is your one point vanishing point perspective. I hope you enjoyed it.